Kamara uh, related uh, position. What do you think, Brian? Uh, oh, I, I think he'll continue that. He, he was a force for opening up the Fed while he was a governor. Uh, he was one of the people that... that uh... We're now less than 10 minutes off the closing bell. Dow and Nasdaq setting up for a good one for the first day of the week. If you are a bull, up next, we're live on the foreign exchange trading floor. Barclay. Our mission... Dow and NASDAQ setting up one of their best performances in more than a month on news that Ben Bernanke will be the new chief potentially at the Federal Reserve. At least he is the nominated chief successor to Alan Greenspan. And Bob Pisani is live at the New York Stock Exchange where we are first from the floor with our eye on the floor. Also joining us today, Stu Schweitzer, global market strategist, J.P. Morgan Asset Management. And Stu, uh, why a, a rally in stock markets but a, a decline in uh, both currency and fixed income? Get it. I don't think he's an inflation dove in any respect. He's an inflation targeter. And I think that under, under his leadership as... Any sense from you on the floor, Bob, as to why there's even the slightest perception that Bernanke is more dovish on inflation than Greenspan? Oh, there was the helicopter comment, but I think we parsed that pretty well throughout the day. He made that in reaction to very specific circumstances. There was a point at which deflation was an issue. That point has long since passed. I think most people knew it, know that, but Stu's right. There is a perception, for whatever reason, that he's a bit soft on inflation. The point is, for the stock market, is the way that translates is maybe the Fed will stop raising interest rates sooner rather than later, and not to go on endlessly about this mantra, but that's what matters to the stock market. And for example, that's why, Dylan, you're getting a, a bit of a rally in some of the cyclical stocks. The transports are having their best day since July. July 20th, the third or fourth week of July right now. That's the reason we're moving up right now in that perception. Stu, how different is today's rally from the one we saw last Wednesday? Well, you know, I, I, I think Bob is right that it is it is the cyclicals here that are responding to the... 14. This is the first time since 1996 it's just happened that we've been below 14. Stocks seem cheap at this point. Why aren't some of the value people coming in scooping things up at this point? Well, stocks are fair value. I don't think they're fundamentally cheap. And to buy stocks... The E's are going up, the earnings are going up, and the prices are going down, Stu. And well, pretty may cheap. it continue. May it continue. Right. As the bell rings, the markets close on their highs for the day. All of your average S&P, Dow, and NASDAQ rallying to close at one of the highest, one of the biggest rallies, I should say, we've seen in more than a month. Stuart Schweitzer, Bob, we'll see you on the other side of the bell. There is the closing bell uh, as the second hour of the closing bell with Maria Bottaromo continues right now. From the world leader in business news, this is The Closing Bell, live at CNBC's global headquarters, Maria Bartiromo. And good afternoon, a big market rally on Wall Street today, fueled by earnings and news that Ben Bernanke is being tapped to steer the future of the Federal Reserve. President Bush named top White House economic advisor Ben Bernanke to succeed Alan Greenspan. The announcement was today. Who is Bernanke? Is he the right choice? And how will he do things differently than Greenspan? We have reaction and analysis from Wall Street to Washington. Positive earnings from American Express helped boost the Dow Industrials today. The financial selling tonight, it was a very powerful rally on Wall Street, and things really accelerated in the final 30 minutes of trading. The Dow Jones Industrial Average up 170 points. Financial services among the best performers today. Oil companies also doing well, 10,385, the closing industrial average. NASDAQ also finishing at the high of the afternoon with a rally today of 33 points. 2115 is where the NASDAQ is settling out tonight. S&P 500 up almost 20. 20 points on the session to 1199. Well, comprehensive coverage now on Ben Bernanke. He is a highly regarded economic advisor, academic, and author. Bernanke is well known within the financial community and is close with both President Bush and with Alan Greenspan. He joined the president and Mr. Greenspan in the Oval Office today for the announcement. Mr. Bush says Bernanke, quote, commands deep respect in the financial community, unquote. Bernanke was equally gracious towards his mentor and predecessor. My first priority will be to maintain continuity with the policies and policy strategies established during the Greenspan years. 
Ben Bernanke is a summa cum laude graduate of Harvard and received his PhD from MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He is a well-known author on the economy, principles of business, and American economic history. And since June, he has been the chairman of the President's Council on Economic Advisors. Let's bring in a CNBC panel right now. Ron Insana, host of Street Signs, along with me, as is Larry Kudlow, host of Kudlow & Company, and the Wall Street Journal's assistant managing editor, Alan Murray. Gentlemen, thanks for being here today. We appreciate it. And Ron, there have been a lot of comments today about Ben Bernanke. Are we hearing an accurate telling of who this man is? Well, I think in the main, Maria, yes. I mean, he's a very, very bright academician. He has written numerous papers on unconventional monetary policy, how to deal with unexpected economic events like a Japanese-style recession. He's, uh, he's very bright. Where I think people are misperceiving his role or, or, or his character is that he might be somewhat dovish on inflation. A man who just wrote a book on inflation.